Welcome to RPS Group of Schools online classes. Let us continue with session 4 for the chapter Transfer of Heat. In today's session, we will discuss another mode of heat transfer called radiation. We all know that sun is the biggest source of heat energy to us. But have you ever imagined how heat from the sun reaches us? By conduction or by convection? Keeping in mind that there is no medium for heat transfer in most of the space between earth and the sun, we can conclude that conduction and convection are not possible in this case. So how does the heat energy from the sun reaches us from an average distance of around 15 crore kilometer? The answer to this question is radiation. The heat energy from the sun reaches us by another mode of heat transfer called radiation. Radiation can be defined as the mode of heat transfer from distant sources in the environment without requiring any medium or contact. In radiation, heat flows in the form of heat waves without any direct contact. The heat waves or thermal radiation can travel even in vacuum. All hot objects emit thermal radiation in all directions as shown in the image above. Let us discuss some examples of radiation. We feel hot when we sit near the fireplace because of thermal radiation. A room heater releases thermal radiation which allows us to feel its heat even from a distance. Human body also radiates and absorbs heat from the surroundings by radiation. Toasters use thermal radiations emitted by its element to toast bread. These were some of the examples that we see in daily life. When thermal energy falls on an object, some of this thermal energy gets reflected, some of it is absorbed and some part of it is transmitted. When an object absorbs thermal radiation, its temperature increases. The amount of heat absorbed by an object depends upon the following. The amount of heat absorbed depends upon the nature of the material. Metals and water absorb more heat than non-metals. Amount of heat absorbed also depends upon distance between the object and the heat source. Absorption of heat increases with the decrease in the distance between source of heat and the object and vice versa. The absorption of heat also depends upon the color of the object. Dark colors absorb as well as emit more thermal radiation whereas light colors absorb and emit less thermal radiation. For example, black color absorbs and releases maximum thermal radiation, while white and silver colors absorb and release minimum thermal radiation. Let us perform an activity to show that dark bodies are good absorber while shining bodies are poor absorber of heat. In order to perform the experiment, you will require a black paper, an ice tray with ice cubes and an aluminium foil. Take out two ice cubes from the same ice tray. Wrap one of them in a piece of black paper and the other one in aluminium foil. Place both of them in the sun at the same place. Observe them after 5 minutes. What do you observe? Which one has melted out more? You will observe that the ice wrapped in black paper melts more. This is because black color absorbs more heat than the shining color which resulted in the melting of the ice. Let us perform another activity. 
The aim of the activity is to show that good absorbers are good radiators. In order to perform the experiment, you will require two metallic cans, black and silver paints and hot water. To perform the experiment, take two metallic cans of same size. Paint one of them black all over while the other silver. Pour equal amount of water at the same temperature, for example 60 degrees Celsius. Place them in a room or in shade. Note down the temperature of water in both the cans after 10 to 15 minutes. What do you observe? You will observe that the temperature of water in the black colored can is lower than the water in the silver colored can. This is because black colored can radiates more heat than the silver colored can. So we can conclude that good absorbers are good radiators and poor absorbers are also poor radiators. Do you know on what factor does the choice of color of walls of buildings, cooking utensils and clothing depend upon? It depends upon the fact that the amount of thermal radiation absorbed or radiated out depends upon the color of the object. Let's discuss some of its applications. We prefer light color clothes in summer because they do not absorb much heat. They reflect most of the heat that falls on them. We wear dark color clothes in winter because they absorb more heat from the surroundings during daytime and keep us warm. The bottom of cooking utensils is painted black while the sides are kept sparkling bright. This results in the maximum absorption of heat from the bottom and minimum radiation of heat from the sides. Radiators of cars are painted black to radiate or give out more heat. That was all for today's class. Thank you.